So I want to show you how to use a few really useful Unix commands to administrate either your Raspberry Pi or your cloud computer or PC at work. What we're going to start off with is exploring first command, which is how to get your free memory. Now I'm currently logged into a Raspberry Pi. It could be any Linux host, it just works the same. I'm going to type in free dash H. What we see is total memory used, free, and available. Now, in effect, you need to add, you need to really look at the available memory rather than the free to see what you can do. You can also enable a swap file here if you're not using something like Kubernetes, and that will allow you to do whatever you need. If you do not pass H for human readable, you get the number back in blocks, and blocks don't make a lot of sense to a human being, which is why. If we look at the man page for free, we see that H stands for human. Now, if you only want to see megabytes, then we can do dash dash mega. Okay. One of the other tools that I find really useful is to find out what disk space I've got available on the machine. Maybe you're running out, you need to keep an eye on this. D F dash H using dash h again to get a human readable format. So we can see the most important thing here is my root partition. And I currently have 27 gigs available. So this is probably a 32 gig primary hard drive. Now if I leave off dash h, we end up seeing this again, okay, blocks. Now blocks are useful for computer programs. They don't have any division done on them yet. Now within this folder, I have a, another folder, that's Netties, and I want to tell you about du. Now, all of these commands, if you look at the man page, don't say what they stand for. They're just commonly known by these names. Du here um, will tell you roughly how much size a folder is or files on the file system. So, du and suddenly we get this big directory structure and again it's in blocks so most of these commands will just accept dash h and suddenly it comes out in something that means something to us so <clears throat> the other thing you can do is specify a depth now if you put a depth of zero you just get the current folder depth of one takes you down one level in the tree and the depth of two goes even further and you can just go where, however deep you need to go. Okay. Now, one thing that's potentially interesting here is that you can combine any of these commands with another command like less. Now, less will now allow you to press spacebar up and down, and we can go through this output gradually. So that's just pipe symbol and less. Now the other commands we used didn't have enough information there to actually generate this log. Here's one that does. dmask shows you all of your boot up messages and your system information. And hit enter and pipe it to less. And here we go. We've got zero seconds up top. And I'm going to hit space. We're going through. And that's all of the log that is available to us. If you do it without less, it all prints out on the screen at once. So we've run through a few key bash commands, including disk space, free memory, and we've been able to find out how much space things are taking up on the disk. We've also taken a quick look at the less utility and the difference between human readable format and block format. Please subscribe to the channel and let me know what you want to see next.